So this is the unboxing. Nicely packed. We've got here pretty quickly. Here it is. So this is the kit that comes in the uh, box, the controller. Nice little hoop to dangle it off. Power lead. One. Two, this is the little motor with the driving cog. Three, and then the belt. And I'll pause it again and show you the basic idea of how it works. So I've taken the visual back off the end of this little Mac. You will need an M3 Allen key. In there is a little, is it a nut or a bolt? I don't know. You just turn it anti-clockwise to widen it a bit. And the reason I'm doing that oops, is so that I can slide it over this. It's still a bit snug, so I'll have to loosen it a bit more. Come back in a bit. So this bit is easier if you keep the tube pointing down. I've taken this out a bit, so I've loosened this um, screw completely out. So it pulls like this. Take the focus knob, slide that over, and then you just pull it apart and it slides in. Now I'm basically just tightening this. What Vasco says to be careful is not to over tighten it because it's PET 3D printed. So basically you want to tighten it so that it no longer slips around, turns. So this is still turning a bit. So I'm going to Tighten it a bit more. So I could still keep tightening this more here, but actually now, if you see, I'm actually giving it quite a bit of welly, pushing it, pulling it, and it's not moving. So that's tight enough for me. So this is a which way does it go? Three millimeter Allen key. Here, this is the knob, the gear, the cogs that will go over the focus knob. Here's the motor controller that will go there. And here's the belt. So this comes with these little, what are they called, grub screws. Three grub screws in there. So you will need an Allen key for those to basically loosen it to be able to position this over the uh, focuser knob. So this bit, fitting this is also easier if you keep it like this. When you, what I had to do is after I had tightened this, the alignment was a little bit off. It wasn't, the focuser knob was slightly off center from the hole that's in this. So obviously you want to try and get it nicely aligned. So just loosen that a bit, move it a bit, tighten it back up again. This using a two millimeter Allen key, I just took out the grub screws. It's a bit snug. That's why it's better to just put it vertically like this and gently push it down. You can now see like where it sits. Obviously, you have to be able to tighten the, um, at the grub screws so you can't push this all the way in because then you wouldn't be able to tighten that. So I'm going to pause it, tighten it, and then come back. So 
I've tightened it. I can, well, basically letting the tube's weights come completely on this and you can see it's not slipping out. The grub screws won't go all the way in. You can see them maybe a bit closer. I think it's a side profile sticking out a bit, but that's fine. That seems quite good. This is for lunar and planetary fine focus anyway, not unattended overnight imaging. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a four millimeter Allen key and this, I'm taking that bolt out because you can see Here, that hole is where this bolt will go. So again, screw that in, tighten it up. Again, you don't want to over tighten these things back in a bit. So what I've done now is I've <sighs> let me put this down. The anchoring bolt is in. I haven't over tightened it. This knob that you can see this screw is just a little hand screw. If you see here, if you turn it this controls the tension in the belt. So I'm going to loosen this completely. Well, maybe not completely, but a lot more. And then I can push that back. And now I'm going to put the belt over it. So I completely took that out and I've because um, you need to basically be able to push this all the way in so that these two are close enough to slip the belt over but now that I've done that you know it's quite loose obviously so you do need to uh, tighten the tension so all you do is push this screw it that starts to push back out and I, you can still feel that that's still not enough tension Push it out. I can feel the tension increasing. That's finger tight. You don't want to over tension it. This you can play around with to see how much tension works best for you for the fine focus. But that's it. I'm start happy with that a bit. There's enough depth on the teeth of this so that uh, you know you can change play around with the alignment the thing with this is as these focuses uh, rotate it'll actually go in and out a bit so Vasco's left a nice amount of depth on on on, on this um, I'm gonna pause it and plug it in and we'll see so I have to go rummage for 9 volt battery I'm gonna put it in and be right back this end in there. Battery in the back. Connection. I'm guessing this is the blue knob controls the speed. In focus, out focus. Moment of truth. Look at that. So you do, the blue is on off as well. And then so to switch it off, to switch it off, sorry. Click, so that's the way it comes. That's off. 
on, you see the power light come on there, and then the speed. So this is full speed. And let's go half speed. And for micro focusing, you don't even hear it, but it must be turning a little bit. Yes, I can see it just about. So it's definitely much more precise than I could do it uh, with my uh, sort of manually. Um, definitely much more precise. Moment of truth now will be when uh, it's imaging. Um, clouds are in right now, so if there's a gap in the clouds, I might try and set up later. Otherwise, it'll have to wait for a bit. Cheers.